Hello and welcome to Pabli. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the different types of filter that we have inside Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect has a very interesting module of filter using which we can add some filter condition in our automation workflow. And using that filter module, we can set up different types of filter condition. So what are they and how you can use them? Let's see. So here you can see that I have created a simple automation workflow between Pabli Form Builder and Google Sheet, using which I'm adding the form submission data from Pabli Form Builder into my Google Sheet over here. So here guys, what we are going to do, between these two steps, we are going to add a filter condition. Let's click on this Add Action Step button. And then here in Choose App, select Filter over here. After selecting filter by Pabli, the first thing it asks us is to select the label. That on which label, on which response, we want to set up this filter condition. So let's take an example that in this particular form, I'm asking the user their first name, last name, email, mobile number, and gender. Now let's assume that I want to add a filter condition that the user of form responses, which has gender equals to female, I want to only add the details of those female users into my Google Sheet. So here guys, what we can do, we have to select the label. Now because we want to set up the filter condition on gender, we will be selecting this response of gender as the label. So here in select label in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous steps. So out of all of this, we are going to select this response of gender. We are going to select this label of gender that we are setting up this filter condition on this label that what will be the filter type. And here in this drop down, you can see a list of different types of filter. So here guys, you can see equals to, does not equals to, contains, does not contains, exist, and all of these different types. So one by one, we are going to have a look on all these types of filters. So let's start with the first one that is equals to. So if it's like the filter type as equals to, in that case, if this label, if the response or the value of this label is equals to the value which we enter in this field, only in that case, this automation workflow will be continued further. It will give us the condition as true. For example, here we have selected the label as gender and we have received the response, the value of gender as male over here from Pabli Form Builder. So here I'll just enter the value as male and then we will see it will give us the response as true. And here you can see that the condition is true over here. But instead of male, if I give the value as female over here, and then we will click on save and send test request, then we will see it will give us the response as false. The condition is false because we have received the value as male over here in this trigger response. And here in this label, you can see we have given the value which is equals to false. We have given a filter condition that if the value of this label, if the response of this label is equals to female, only in that case, this automation workflow should be continued further. So in this way, this equals to filter type works that if our label, the response or the value of our label is equals to the value which we enter over here, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue. After equals to the next filter type we have is does not equals to. And as you can guess, it is the vice versa of this. So the label or the value of this label should not be equals to the value we enter over here. In that case, this automation workflow will be continued further. For example, we have selected the same label gender over here. And the, in gender, we have received the response of male. And male is not equals to female. So we will click on save and send test request. And because we have selected the filter condition as does not equals to, we will see it will give us the condition as true that the label, the value of gender is not equals to female, the value which we have given over here. Now, if I write male over here instead of female and click on save and send test request, it will give us the condition as false. Because we have received the response, the label response over here as male, and then it is equals to male, but the filter type which we have selected is not equals to. This means this condition which we have given over here, it's a false condition. And in this case, this automation workflow will not be continued further. After does not equals to, we have contains. That the label or the response which we are selecting over here, in this response, this value which we are going to enter over here, does that value contains or not? 
So for this filter type, let's change our label. We will change the label to email over here. We have received the response of this email address from Pabli form builder. And here guys in contains, I'm going to enter the value as Pabli over here. And I will click on save and send test request. So using this contains filter type, what it check, it checks that whether the value which we have entered over here in this filter condition, do this value contains in this label response. So here you can see that in this email address on which we have added the filter condition, it contains the word Pabli in it, P-A-B-B-L-Y. This word con is contained over here. That's why it is going to give us the condition as true. But just in case, if I change the value as Pabli.com, now this response of email does not contain pabli.com. So what we are going to do, we will click on save and send test request and we will see it will give us the condition as false over here because this response does not contains the value that is pabli.com. Now here you will see in this complete email address, the letter Z is not used. If I enter the value as Z over here, for example, and we will click on save and send test request, it will again give us the false condition because this complete response of email address does not contain the letter Z. But again, if we change the filter type to contains to does not contain and click on save and send test request, the situation or the filter type will change. It will re reciprocate. It will give us the condition as true. Now we have added the filter condition that this label of email does not contain the value Z. And here you can see that in this label of email, we have received this email address. In this email address, the letter Z is not there. It does not contain the letter Z. Now, if I change the value to, for example, test, this is the word I'm going to enter and we will click on save and send test request. Again, it is going to give us the condition as true because this value test is not contained in this response. But for example, if I enter the value as .com, so there is .com in this filter condition over here. Sorry, let me just reselect the filter option. Select the same filter ID, the label that is email and contains. So here guys, you will see uh, we will be adding .com over here. And here you can see in this email address, it do contains .com. So we will click on save and send test request. And then we will see it is going to give us the condition as false because we have added the filter type as does not contain that if this label does not contain .com only in that case this automation workflow should continue further but it do contain .com that's why it is going to give us the condition as false moving ahead to our next filter type and that is exist so using this filter type of exist we do not enter any value we add this filter to check whether the label for which we have added this filter type, that label is received in the response or not. For example, we have received this label of email in this response and we will click on this save and send test request button. So because we have selected the filter type as exist, it is giving us the condition as true. But uh, for example, if the trigger application has not sent the label of email in the response, in that case, this action step, this filter type will give us the response as false over here. So here you can see that we have received the response of email from this form submission in Pabli form builder in trigger. So this is the form on which we were working on in Pabli form builder. I will just remove this field of email from this. We have just removed the field of email from this form submission response from this form. Now what we are going to do, we are just going to share this form and we are going to make another form submission. Now, because we don't have the field of email in this form, it won't be sending the response of form. So I'm just going to enter the first name as for example, demo user. And this is a dummy mobile number and the gender is mail. I will just click on submit. Now, when we click on submit, the form submission is made and using the webhook URL, using the trigger, this data, this details of form submission is sent to public and workflow. But here we will check the history of this workflow and then we will see here in this workflow, we have received the response from Pabli form builder. So here you can see that this is the same response, demo user, the gender is male and this is the same mobile number. 
and because we have removed the field of email, that's why Pabli Form Builder has not sent the response of email and we can't see the label of email as well. But here in this filter condition, you can see in data in, we have added the filter condition of exist and then it is given us the response as false. That in this response, in the response which we have received from Pabli Form Builder, this label of email address does not exist. And because it does not exist and the filter type is exist, it has given us the condition as false. So you can add this filter type of exist or you can add this filter type of does not exist to check whether the label or the response of that label is received inside Pabli Connect or not. It does not matter what are the values it is sending. All it check for is the label. It's the key value pair. This is the key and this is the value. Now, do we get this key for which we have added this filter type over here? It check for that filter key. If we select does not exist, in that case, you will see this automation workflow will continue. Once again, I will just click on this save button over here. And once again, we are going to make another form submission. The filter type this time is does not exist. That if this label of email address, if this key of email address does not exist in this complete response, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue further. So here we have removed the email address field and the response which Pavli Form Builder is going to send on form submission, that response is not going to contain or it will not have email. So let's make another form submission, test user another dummy mobile number and the gender for example this time is female click on submit so we have made another form submission without the email field and here you will see in this google sheet the data of the same form submission is added we will check the history of this automation workflow once and it will show us that the filter condition was working perfectly fine so here this is the history this is the response of test user which we have just now made and in this filter type, it is giving us that this condition is true because we have added the filter type as does not exist and Pabli Form Builder has not sent the response of email in the trigger response. In this way, this filter type of exist and does not exist work. Then again, we have this next filter type of is empty. That if this response or if this label or if this field is empty, in that case, this automation workflow will continue further. For example, let's select the label as mobile number over here. So we have selected the label as mobile number and filter type is empty. Let's click on save and send test request. Using this filter type, it will check that whether this response or this label has a empty response or not. So right now we have a value in this response like in this key value pair, we have received some data, some text in front of mobile number. That's why it is showing us that the condition is false. But if we capture the response without the mobile number, if this response of mobile number is received blank, in that case, this condition is going to show us the condition is true. So here, if I select is not empty and click on see when send test request, it is the vice versa of is empty and it will give us the condition as true. Because this label of mobile number is not empty. It is true that this label of mobile number has a value. It is not empty. That's why this condition is going true. But if you select if empty and save over here, and then you will see that if we get some response or some field which has empty response, only in that case, this automation workflow will continue further. After is empty, next we have is not empty and then we have starts with. So using this starts with uh, filter type, you can set up a starts with value that if the response or the value for this particular label starts with a certain number, like here you can see that we have this mobile number and this mobile number starts with one. So if I select one over here, if I enter value as one over here and click on save and send test request, we will see the response as true because this value or this response of mobile number starts with one. For example, if I enter 1, 2, 3 and I will click on save and send test request, it will check that this condition is true as well because this mobile number starts with 1, 2, 3 over here. But just in case if I make a change and I write value as 1, 2, 4 and click on save and send test request, we will get the condition as false because this number does not start with 1, 2, 4. It starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this way. 
So here you can basically set up this kind of filter condition with this filter type of starts with whether you can define whether the response starts with a specific value or not. So if I write one, two, three, four, once again, here you will see this number, this mobile number starts with one, two, three, four. And again, it will give us the condition as true. And yes, here you can see that. So in this way, you can use this filter type of starts with. And the same is does not start with, but the filter condition is just opposite to it. We will click on save and send test request and it will add a filter type that it does not start with. So here you can see this mobile number starts with 12345678. If I enter the value as zero and save and send test request, we will see the condition as true. Because this mobile number, this response of mobile number does not start with zero. If I select one over here, if I enter one and click on save and send test request, here you can see the condition is false because this mobile number starts with one. In this way, you can use these two filter types of start with or does not start with. Similarly, you can add the same filter condition for ends with or does not ends with as well. So if you select ends with, here you will see this mobile number ends with zero. If I enter zero in this value and click on save and send test request, it will give us the condition as true because the mobile number, the label which we have selected over here, this label ends with zero. If I change the label and I will go to, for example, last name, the value of last name is user and user ends with R. So in value, if I select R over here and click on save and send test request, it is going to give us the condition as true. If I select ER over here, for example, this is the value ER. Again, the word or the value is ending with ER. So once again, the condition is true. But for example, if I select U over here and click on save and send test request, it is going to tell us the condition is false because this label, the label which we have selected last name does not ends with U over here. It starts with U but does not ends with U. That's why it is going to give us the condition is false. The opposite of ends with is does not ends with and it works in the same way that it works does not starts with. The second last filter type we have is less than and it's basically very simple that whether the value which we are selecting over here is less than the value which we have entered in val over in this value field or not. For example, I will select this mobile number field and select the filter type as less than and I will just add a number, a very big number like I'm adding this number. So this number is the value for which we are setting up the condition and this is our label of mobile number. So if we get the value of mobile number less than this number, it is going to give us the condition as true. So here you can see that the condition will be true. But for example, if I give the value as 10, now this particular number which we have received in mobile number is greater than 10. So here you will see that if we click on save and send test request, it will give us the condition as false. So it's a basic greater than and less than filter condition. Similarly, the last filter type is greater than like if the value which we enter over here, if our label value or label response is greater than this value, in that case, it is going to give us the condition as true. As you can see, the condition is true. And if the value which we are going to enter over here, if our response from the trigger or if our response for this value is less than this value or the filter type greater than, it is going to give us the false condition because this value is less than this value. It's not greater than this value. So the condition is false. So these were the types of filter that filter by Pabli actually offers. And you can add filter condition in your automation workflow by using these filter types as well. I hope this video was helpful to you and you got a complete knowledge of what are the types of filter that Pabli Connect offers and how you can use them. So guys, this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.